Hi, my name is Jeff, and today I'll be showing you guys my sneaker collection. So, first things first, I'm gonna bring it all the way back to the Steph Curry's. I don't even know what kinds these are, but boy, oh boy, do these still look new? I think I've only worn this, I think like two times when I was younger. But now, like looking back at it, these gave me so many good memories because like, like it helped me, you know, support my ankle. And yeah, like it had really good traction. So I rate this, uh, I guess it's 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10, yeah. Then my next shoe that I got, that I actually really liked, like for the, like the longest time, like I wore these shoes for three, three years in a row. And I guess I like I don't know how my foot didn't grow bigger, but um, yeah, I wore these. These are the LeBrons. LeBron something something something. I totally forgot. But these are the 13s. Yep. The 13s. The 13s. Sheesh. Now, as you can see, these shoes are really beat. Um, since I've like wore them for what three, three years, four years. Let's just say three years. Um, the traction, god tier. The fucking, as, the aesthetics, fucking um, unbelievable, bro. Um, the cushion, god tier, S tier. The colorway, oh, just the colorway with the gray and the blue and the little rainbow color on the, on this, on the tongue. It's just chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Dude, I'll rate this a 10 out of 10. I loved it. I bought this from a friend, um, and ever since that day, this shoe made me so happy. So I'll give it a ten out of ten. These are the LeBron, LeBron somethings. I don't know what these are called. If I had a guess, these are the twelves. Says it right in the sole. Nice, nice. Traction. You know how it has like the nice icy bottom. Which is nice. Really good traction. Uh, the one thing that I did realize when I bought this at Marshalls was one of the reasons why I didn't wear this that much when I was younger was because, like, I thought it was cool, but like looking back at it now, I would have gotten flamed for these because everyone's like, "Yo, what the hell are those?" Like looking back at it now. I would totally wear these now. These are aesthetic, these are popping, and yeah, and the cushion's amazing on the sides. Um, but you know, yeah. Yeah, so in conclusion, I would give the LeBron 12s a nine out of 10, or like an eight, not a 10 out of 10, just because, you know, looking back at it, I might get, might have gotten flamed, but like, like, you know, who knows, who knows. So that brings me to my next shoe or next pair. The Kobe something somethings. I do need to know my the names of these shoes, but I don't know for this one because, um, like apparently, um, one of my friends um, gave me this shoe because one day I was um, at my friend's house and I forgot to br um, bring my basketball shoes because like we had a game um, like later that day and I was panicking. I was calling my mom. I was like, I was panicking basically. So my friend's like, you know what, what size are you? And then I was like, size eight, size eight, seven and a half. And then he's like, you know what? You can have these uh, for the game and like the rest of your life. And then I was like, what? Are you, are you crazy? Like these are Kobe's, like these are insane. The traction, 10 out of 10. Aesthetics, five out of 10. You know, this just ain't my style, but you know, these gave back some pretty good memories. So I'm really thankful for my friend. Shout out Tyler, if you're watching this. Probably not, but yeah. Um, final verdict, uh, I'll give these uh, about an eight out of 10, nine, nine out of 10. No, no, I'll give it a seven, se uh, seven, five, seven point five. Yeah, I think that's fair. The only reason why I give it a seven out of 10 is just because of the, the colorway. I just don't like it. It's just gold and black and Cheese? Cheese grip? 
as you want to call it, cheese grip. I don't know how to say it, but I guess it's cheese grip. Um, you know, 7.5, 7, 7.5, still not bad. Going on to the next shoe. I played in these during freshman year in high school. You guys may have known these already. Yes, sir. And these are the only pairs of shoes that I think I know from like way back then. These are the Kyrie, these are the Kyrie sixes. Uh, I mean, traction, good. Never really had a problem with these. Um, aesthetics, amazing. Nice little grippy rubber at the back. Um, what else, strap? Strap is really bad. Um, Cause I don't know why, if, if, if it's just my problem or if you guys have it too, but every single time, like every single time, uh, the the velcro the the velcro, I think that's, that's, that's how you say it. But the velcro would um, always constantly um, s um, stick to my laces, and what would happen was that my laces were wear, uh, were wearing out. So they just looked like a mess. So yeah, I'm yeah. So they looked like a mess. Um, other than that, uh, traction good. Comfort. They they did not feel my scale. They they just did it. I don't. It wasn't bad. I, on the comfort, I'll give it a six. Cushion is just a six, just because. Like, damn. Yeah, this like. I've definitely worn shoes that have better cushion than, than these. But you know, I didn't say I'm not complaining, because I got these from my grandma, and at the time I needed basketball shoes. So these did the purpose, but my feet every single game were literally dying. They were too tight. Maybe it's just a shoe, but I would get bunions. <laughs> bunions after every game or something, because my feet were just hurting from the shoes. But other than that, other than the cushion and the traction, mainly the, cu um, the um, basically the cushion being the biggest factor in why I don't like these shoes that much. Other than that, and the vote. And the velcro strap other than the velcro strap and the, uh, the, uh, the cushion I'll give it a five a five just a solid five you know it's it's not good it's not bad it's just mediocre now we have one of my favorite sneakers aka basketball shoes oh. let me just, just 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 show you the box these are one of my recent ones too. Mm, Katie, Kevin Daddy, I mean Kevin Durant, fuck. Pretty sure you guys know what this is already. The Katie 14s, damn. Oh. Yeah, the Katie 14s. Um, cushion, 10 out of 10. Comfort, 10 out of 10. Traction, 10 out of 10. Strap, this strap doesn't stick to my laces which is why i'm happy about it w strap um design this nice sunset with the nice gray colorway boy oh boy am i in love no this shoe is just a fucking w um cushion 10 out of 10 comfort 10 out of 10 strap 10 out of 10 just yeah it, it has air zoom by the way or zoom air as you like you want to call it but yeah soul's good midsole's good basically everything's good um, the only downside about this shoe is that um you do but it's it's like a little like a little iffy on dusty your courts it does sometimes have the effect of gaining like not too much dust but like you know dust in between so you might have to like clean in between the lines but like other than that i'll give it a 9.5 9.5 out of 10 w shoe amazing one of the best shoes i've actually worn actually the best shoes i've worn in a long damn time these next shoes i got for christmas from my dad uh, these are pretty nice i gotta tell you these are the nike cosmic unities now these bad puppies Ah, these bad puppies are amazing. Colorway, great. Ah, colorway. It could go for two, 
it could go for two ways, you know. You could be like, damn, this colorway is gay. Or like, damn, this colorway is aesthetic, it pops out, you know, people will be able to recognize you on the court because of these aesthetic shoes. I chose them just because they look amazing and just because they're really aesthetic and stuff. You know, the cushion, great. As I just walked in them, maybe five steps. I don't really like use these, but you know, based on aesthetics, let's let's give this a 10 out of 10. And cushion and everything else. You know what? <laughs> I don't know. So, by, so <laughs> by default, these are a 10 out of 10. Just because aesthetics. Yep. Last but not least, J. Cole's the beast. Yep, J. Cole's the beast. Yep, the Puma RS Dreamers. Now, these shoes are designed by J. Cole. I don't really feel like he like helped incorporate it step by step, but I think that these are actually really nice. Um, traction good, cushion good, um, ankle support though. I did have trouble, um, really bad trouble um, with the ankle support. Um, other than that, um, I think, I think that this is a really good shoe. It's built well. Um, it feels good. Um, what else? It looks good. Stands out. You know, most of my shoes that I do buy, wow, well, I want to make, like, I want to make, I want to make myself stand out. So, yeah, I think, think that these are really nice shoes. And, yeah, um, cushion, cushion is a, is an eight. Really good cushion. I love the cushion, but sometimes you can feel like you're flat-footed, so that's why I give it like an 8 out of 10, not a 9. Um, traction is really good once again. Um, support for your ankle, not too good. Um, yeah, I would go a size down just because they do run small, some like, like barely run small. So I got a size 9 instead of 9.5. And it feels perfectly fine. Um, and yeah, I think that these are really nice. And final verdict, I'll give it a eight. An eight, yeah. So the winning shoe is the KD14. These shoes are just amazing. I just love them so much, to be honest. Well. That wraps the video. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I don't know what I'll do in the future um, besides, you know, just creating content. Um, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to comment on the video or just, um, you know, hit me up in my emails, in my business inquiries or something like that. I don't know. Um, this was my first video once again. I hope it, that you guys liked it. Um, comment down below what um, other videos I should do as I'm running out of ideas. Uh, thank you so much for the support and yeah, peace!